Yo, what is up, people? What is up? Boom J here with a tutorial on how to download, to access, and to execute a settlement blueprint. Um, I chose the Coastal Cottage blueprint I got right here in front of you. Um, this was a Coastal Cottage uh, created by Quiet Van D. So we're going to give him a shout, shout out. Uh, this thing looks pretty good. Good job, dude. Um, we're going to walk through. I did a couple already in different locations. Got some frustration with not knowing how to do certain things because I wasn't really familiar with blueprints. Um, but now I am, and I want to do this tutorial in case someone else, you know, went through what I went through. And that you don't have to. So we're going to go through both ways to do it. Manually. And then you can do it through the Nexus Mod Manager. Um, I love the Nexus Mod Manager. It does work. Um, but we're going to step through it manually first. Okay? But before you do any of this stuff, you guys, um, the first thing you want to do is just read. Read. I am not one for reading instructions, man. Um, and it just it cost me a lot of time because I don't. And you'll see right here off the very front. Now, I don't know. Maybe some mods don't put this kind of detail into it. Whoever this guy is, man, props to you, bro. Uh, because he puts some explanation in here on what to do before you even start. So right away, we need to scrap everything at Coastal Cottage. Um, first, you have to fight off of some mercs. You know, you got to get the property. You got to access the workbench. And then once you do, you're going to scrap everything. Now, I didn't scrap a couple of huge mountainside boulders. You know, the rocky side of the mountain I didn't do. However, I did, I think, accidentally scrap a giant hole <laughs> in the ground. But no big deal, man. Once this build is done... I'm going to see if I can't access that hole and we'll turn it into something. But for now, this is what we got to do. You guys, we got to scrap everything. I use scrap everything. Um, I got that all done already. And we, you have to move the workbench. Um, then, of course, move that workbench is the mod. It didn't work for me. The build, the blueprint before this one, this blueprint, it worked. So... I'm going to give some props up to that one. Thumbs up to uh, the mod that workbench. Move that workbench. All right, let's get right into it. Um, okay, the first thing, once you do that, make sure you have the requirements, guys. In this case, there it is. Um, that's going to be your DLC requirements for this particular mod. You know, just read that stuff. Um, and it also is going to give you some requirements for the Nexus mods. Um which will be somewhere in there. So there's there's some requirements for the Nexus mods that you're going to need. So actually, if you hit that, it'll show you. But right now, let's do the manual download. We're going to hit that. It's going to pop up right down here at the bottom left of your little fold, uh, whatever that is, your tab. Boom, it's already done. I'm going to move that to my desktop. And from the desktop, let's get out of this. We don't need that right there anymore. Okay, I use, um, you guys, I use WinRAR on most of mine. I also have 7-Zip. Um, I like the WinRAR. It does good. But we're going to choose this option right here, Extract Coastal Cottage Blueprint. What it's going to do is it's going to create a file on the desktop. And whatever's inside there, it's going to extract it to that file. So we're going to hit that. As you can see right down here, it already created this file. So now right away, we're going to have to put this in a specific place in our computer. So now what we're going to do is we're going to open up wherever you have the game installed. Um, in my case, it's in the Steam library and it's going to be on the C drive. So I'm going to go this PC right here. Boom. We're going to open that up. Local disk C. Boom. Steam library. See it right there? Boom. We're going to open that up. Steam apps. We're going to open that up. Common. We're going to. Boom. Fallout 4. Boom. Data. Boom. 
Now, Fallout 4 Script Extender, um, F4SE. We're going to open that. If you're doing blueprints and different things like that and modding, you already know what that is. If you're not, then I suggest you you got to go look into that. This is not going to help you. Um, plugins, open that. And then you're going to get to the here, transfer settlements. You want to open that. And then blueprints, guys. You want to open that. Now, here we are. This is where your file is going to end up, right here. So we're going to leave this open, put it over here to the side, and now we're going to open our folder that is on the desktop. So double click on that. It's going to open up. There it is. Now that is not the folder you want to use, guys. We're going to have to open this one now. So open that up. Data, open that. There's the Fallout 4 Script Extender. Fallout 4 Script Extender. Open that. There's your plugins. Open that. Open that one. Blueprints, open that one. And see, they have this right here. Now, this is a good example. I'm glad. I've just the first time I've opened this one, you guys. Now, you notice that number right there? It says number two. You do not want to transfer this over to here with that number two right there because you've already got a number two slot taken. That will overwrite this one. And we don't want to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to rename this one right there to number five. I don't have a number five, so we're going to rename it number five. Enter that. Now it's number five. So it's not going to take this slot right here. It's going to take the number five slot, guys, right there. Now, if I open this right here, you're going to see there it is. That's your blueprint, okay? But you're not going to put that over there. You're going to go back. I'm just showing you what's inside the file. Okay, you want this right here. So take that number five, that folder that looks just like that, and you move it over here and just drop it there. Boom. Now that is set. You no longer need this right here. Get rid of that. Matter of fact, you don't need that and you don't need this anymore, but I'm going to leave it there just in case something happens. So you want to delete that stuff. Wait till your builds are done in case you got to redo it for some reason. But there it is, guys. This right here is done. Uh, right now, that is loaded in my folders on the game. So right now my game knows that's there. But now the question is, well, how do I access it? Okay, so we don't need this anymore. Now, if you, okay, let's go ahead and go like this now. If you load it through Nexus Mod Manager, you're going to, you know, well, it's not even open right now, but let's go ahead and open that up. Boom. Okay, there we go. If you load it through the Nexus Mod Manager, <laughs> now you'll notice, look down here, I'm, I'm not logged in. I'm not that, I don't think you need to be, but I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway. Um, boom. So click on that one. It's going to go, as you can see it, Download Manager, Coastal Cottage. There it is. Boom. Now, right there. I've already got it, so we're not going to load it. Now, if you are not manually doing it, then all you got to do is just double click on that right there or just click that and hit the check mark. It'll load it up onto it. We're not going to do it because we've already installed it. Now, does it come with some plugins? I don't think so, or it's already done, so we're good. We're not using that stuff. There it is. So, guys, right there, that's how you do it if you're going to use the Nexus Mod Manager. But we're not, so we're going to go ahead and uninstall, delete that. Okay, boom, we don't need that. Now, just to make sure <laughs> that we didn't take it off of our other one, um, let's go and check. La, 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 la. Local disk C. Um, common. Fallout 4. Data. Ship extender. Plugins. Transfer settlements and blueprints. And we got it right there. So we're still good. Okay. So what I, you know, you're, 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 I like to manually do it. Some of them. On some of these mods, I don't. There's a lot of stuff you got to do. Okay. But this is ready. You guys, this is ready to get right into the game. So now, we're going to open the game. 
I always run. I first of all open your game through your script extender. Anybody that mods and stuff, you guys know that. And I always run as administrator. Um, I tried it before, not doing that, and I ran into some problems. So I'm not too worried about them. What are they gonna do? Hack my account and take money that I don't have? <laughs> they can have, no, they can't have it. But just saying. So here we go. Now we're on the game. Now remember, we've already done this, man. We've already we've already cleared out the uh, area, coastal cottage, and we've already moved the uh, workbench. So we're gonna get on, and let's do this. Boom, continue. There's my girl right there, y'all. Boom. Boom. All right. Here we go. So, another thing, too, is, guys, um, make sure, double-check everything before you start even going. This thing is time-consuming. When you're using a blueprint, it can be pretty time-consuming. So, just check everything twice before you go on. We don't use that. We don't use that. So, that's not there. So, if you'll notice, right behind me, there it is, guys. That's the coastal cottage area. I've removed everything. Boom. Look at that. See the workbench right there? Um, that workbench used to be wherever it was, somewhere up here. I don't remember. It doesn't matter. So let's get out of third person. Boom. Now we're ready to access our blueprint and get this build going. You know what a, build, a blueprint does when you bring it through this process? It actually builds the build for you. So how do you access it? You're going to go into your pit boy. Boom, right there. Go to your inventory. Go to miscellaneous. And go to somewhere near the bottom. For me, it's the very bottom. Transfer settlements. There it is. We're going to hit that. It's going to load the hollow tape. And here we go. Now, there's a lot of options right here, guys. Um, export, that's if you want to export a settlement. You can export any settlement, one that you build, whatever, but we're not doing that today. Uh, what we're going to do is import a settlement from a blueprint. Now, we've already loaded it. That's the number five. Um, nuke this settlement. Now, when you're nuking a settlement, it's not blowing it up. What it's doing is it's kind of like scrapping it, I guess. Um, you know, so they suggest that you nuke it before you do it. I've scrapped everything, so we don't have to worry about nuking. General settings. Now, this is you can personalize exactly how you want things done or whatever. I'm not gonna, I'm not really experienced with that, so we're gonna stay away from that. Now, here's some presets on how you can have the build done. So there's default, stable, exactly what is going on there. I don't know. Rapid. Maybe it's how fast it's doing. Um, this goes much slower possibly, so it's more stable. This goes much faster. It may not be as stable. Cinematic is probably dramatic with with, uh, with wires connecting with sparks flying and different things like that. Okay, so we're going to leave that just like it is. We're going to go back here, and that's your your um, choices here. So we what are we doing? We're going to import that settlement we just loaded. So we're gonna click on import a settlement from a blueprint, boom. Now there we go, guys. Now you see I changed that number? Now it recognized it. Now it's on my pit boy right there, okay? If I would have done it number two, it would have been right there. But this one I have in number two would have been gone. You know, and then, um, I don't know if it's gonna take away the build that's already done there, but either way, we're not doing that. We got it right here, guys. So we wanna click on that. Okay, there it is. Blueprint info, whatever. And here it is again, the things that you need, plugins that are required. I'm pretty sure I have all of this already. And there it is, boom, let's go on. Okay. Now, this is different choices. Now this is how it shows by default like this, guys. Import, nuke. Uh, marker import or nuke marker based items. Now, I don't, I'm not going to do that because it's not checked. Uh, I'm going to look more into that, but for today, we're not going to do it. And again, nuke the settlement. We don't need to do that. So we're actually, this right here, when you nuke a settlement in the last choice, that just nukes the settlement. This one, 
nukes it before the import. So you can do both. You click this one, you're getting the nuke and the import. But we're not going to do that. We're going to go back up to the top. And the show blueprint info, that's what we just looked at. That's this stuff right here, guys. And we've already seen that. So what we want is right there, import. Now, once you click this button, your import is going to begin. And what this is going to do is going to start building the build that is on this blueprint. It's going to build it by itself. So that's why it can be time consuming. Um, well, let's stop talking about it and get right into it. So click on that. Warning, you have no control over this workshop yet. Okay, this is a good example, guys. Um, sometimes you don't have control over a workshop. I thought I gained control over the workshop. I did access it. But anyway, you have some choices here. Without changing ownership of the workshop. So right now the workshop is owned, I guess, by the game or whoever's occupying the territory. And we've not yet fought off all the people yet, maybe. I don't know. But here it is. Yes, and uh, we want to check this one right here. Yes, and let transfer settlements try to unlock this settlement for me. Um, we're going to click on that one. And there it goes. So we're at a... I hope it's going to go. We are waiting. So it's doing it, guys. Look at that. Check it out. Boom. Right now it's importing. And it's going to go through a few stages. It's going to import. And then it's going to stabilize. And then it's going to power up. Um, I think I did one where it did not stabilize. It just powered up right after. See, there's that hole I was telling you guys about right there. See it? See that hole? Look at that big hole I put right there. So maybe we can access that once this build is done by scrapping a um, something to get down to that hole. We'll make that something. But check this out, man. Ain't that? Look at this. I don't know what that shadow is right there. Look at this. It's just building itself right now. Isn't that something else? Crazy. I love it, man. This is so cool. Boom. That's how it does it, guys. That's really simple. So you just wait it out. You don't want to move your character out of the zone. And you don't want to, um, you know, leave the game. You want to let this just ride out. Let it build. And once it's done building, it's going to tell you um, to not scrap anything. Don't build anything. And don't, you know, add settlers or put any settlers to work. Not for at least, I think, about 72 um, game hours, which is in-game hours. Go to sleep a few times for 24 hours and then come back. Travel from a, um, to a far distance and come back. Let, let, the, let the build um, load a few times and it'll work out the kinks in it. But as you can see, this is working. It's building right now. Awesome. Look at this. Isn't that cool? Right there, guys. That's how you do it. And that's how you do a blueprint. From start to finish. Sweet. So we're going to go ahead and let that build out. Um, you can run around and watch it. You can do whatever you want to do. You can just stop and go do something. What I'm going to do. Drink some coffee. And uh, just let it happen, guys. Let it do what it's going to do. So, you know, that's it. That's how it's done. And um, I'll show you the guy's finished product in another video. And I appreciate it. Yo, peace out, you guys. Um, let's go into my tab here so we can exit out. And uh, you guys, peace out. We'll see you in the next video. Appreciate you guys.